Hey everyone, I wanted to do another video. I like to upload two videos at a time, and I didn't want the only one to be my uh, Power Rangers rewatch thing, so I was looking around and, like, I wanted to do another collection video. There's a few things I have ideas for I kind of want to do videos on, but there's a few more things I want to add to the collection before I do a presentation of it. So then I was looking, you know what, I'm going to do my Ramones books. So first up, I'm going to talk about the very first Ramones book. At least I think this is, yeah, this is the very first Ramones book that I ever owned. It's not the first one I read, but it's the first one that I ever, uh, I believe I got this for Christmas once, actually. So this is a really, really good book. Ramones, an American Band, by, um, somebody. <laughs> well, one of the nice things, I saw the little slip OB thing that came around it. That was cool. Uh, oh, man, and this was... I've had this for so long. I had this in high school, and I have my name written in it. <laughs> so you can tell how old it is. Oh, Jim Bessman in association with the Ramones. So this is a really good overview of the band. There's a lot of cool uh, behind-the-scenes information. Like, if you're a new Ramones fan just getting into the Ramones, this is a really great uh, first book to have. If you're... If you've been a fan for, like, years and you have a bunch of books, you've seen all the documentaries and all that, then this book probably isn't going to be anything new to you. But for me, it has nostalgic value because it's, like, the first Ramones book that I owned. And next up, uh, one of the newer Ramones books I have, Learn to Count with Johnny Ramone. It's a children's board book based around Johnny Ramone and counting things one to four it's uh, it's very strange i did a whole video about this so if you want a more in-depth explanation of this go watch that video i guess next up here's a uh, punk rock blitzkrieg my life as a ramon by marky ramon this was a really cool book uh let's see um i have not read this in a couple years now actually so I'm struggling a bit to remember much about it. One of the nice things with a lot of these biography or autobiography books is the pictures in the middle. There's always a lot of cool pictures in the middle of these, usually. Man, I'm really drawing a blank with this one. I remember I really liked it. I guess it wasn't very memorable, though. And next up is Poisoned Heart by Vera Ramon King, who was uh, Dee Dee Ramon's wife. Let's see, uh, does this one have pictures? I think it does. Yep, there they are. There are some pictures there. This was a pretty good book from uh, Dee Dee's wife, uh, talking all about her experiences interacting with the Ramones and with Dee Dee. And she... She gives a lot of, like, uh, unique insights into Dee Dee, which is really appreciated. And then right here is uh, I Slept with Joey Ramone by Mickey Lay with Legs McNeil. Mickey Lay was was uh, Joey Ramone's brother. And there's a lot of uh, interesting insight into Joey Ramone and his family life, his life growing up. That was really fascinating. Uh, let's see. There's pictures in the middle of this one. If I can get this open. Mm. Anyway, there's some really cool pictures in here, especially of, like, uh, Joey and Mickey Lay's early life. Like, there's some baby pictures there, which is really cool to see. So that's really a, a really fascinating book. This is a cool thing, Weird Tales of the Ramones. This is a CD set, which also has a, a comic book thing. Weird Tales of the Ramones. And then there's a flip to the other side. Uh, Ramones Romance, but from here everything's upside down. This is the real cover. Um, let's see, it's a collection of like different style comics all based around Ramones things. And then there's a really cool uh, little thing of sketches from Bobby London, who was a producer and director on a lot of De uh, what was it? Deke cartoons. In fact, there's an episode of Adventures of Sonic where there's a radio DJ who gets knocked over and this wall of CDs falls, and there's a Ramones CD in there. I remember 
being a kid just getting into Ramones and seeing that and thinking, oh, that's cool. A Ramones fan must have worked on Adventures of Sonic. Yeah, Bobby London. So that was a neat little thing. So anyway, uh, right here is the Ramones at 40. This is a pretty cool overview of just a bunch of general Ramones stuff. There's a lot of really cool pictures in here. The pictures are definitely the highlight of this. The layout's also, like really really cool i love the layout of this in the back we get some lists of stuff ah, if i could index hmm. oh well i thought the, oh yeah there it is so right here we got a list of uh, different albums and uh let's see a couple of the different books and sources used to put this book together this is a really, really cool book. I definitely recommend this book for Ramones fans. Even if you have a lot of stuff, there's some cool stuff in here that uh, you might find some interesting tidbits. Now here's another weird uh, kid's book about the Ramones. The Unauthorized Biography. It's, let's see, written by Soledad Romero Mourinho, illustrated by Joe Padilla, or Padilla, I don't know. Anyway, it's a uh, extremely basic storybook all about the Ramones, like forming their band and uh, them getting popular and becoming like a world, like, revolutionary band. And uh, unfortunately, it's so basic, it only covers like the earliest years of the band. So Marky isn't mentioned, it's only Tommy in there. Which is really weird for, like, a book this basic. It seems like you'd want to give more of an overview of the entire band or, like, a general look at the band instead of just the very beginning. This kind of reminds me of, like, when they do Power Ranger books and it's always Mighty Morphin. The stuff kids wouldn't know anything. Then again, like, kids probably wouldn't have much exposure to the Ramones. Nearly all the members are dead now. Okay, anyway, moving on, uh, right here is, oh, this is, uh, Commando, Johnny Ramone's autobiography, which I have a book cover on because the, the sides of the book are very weird. I'm gonna slip the book cover off of here. Oh, this is my old high school book cover. There's little doodles on it. Let's see, uh, there's, I don't know if you can see it, little doodle of George Bush. Um, oh, and this was... American History, and there's Cartman from South Park. <laughs> okay, enough of that. Commando, and here's the reason it's in a cover, because the sides are, like, open? I don't know quite how to explain it. I've never seen any other book uh, put together this way, and at the time, I didn't have like a proper shelf to keep it on so I didn't want it getting banged up or anything because this was kind of a pricey book it was I believe also a Christmas present but yeah I, I didn't want anything happening to it so anyway uh, this is a really cool book written by Johnny and uh, let's see the ending even has like coverage of like after he died oh and there's his uh, Memorial statue. So, let's see. It doesn't say who helped write it at the end. Oh, anyway. A lot of cool insight into uh, Johnny Ramone, his view on the band, his views on a lot of things. It's really funny. He's not really the type of person I think a lot of people would like. He's a very hard person to get along with, it seems. And he was proud of the fact. So, yeah. Interesting, fascinating person. Really glad to have that. And next up is, uh, let's see, Legend of a Rock Star, a Memoir, The Last Testament of Dee Dee Ramone. And that picture on the cover is one of the pictures that was on the cover of the original Lobotomy book that he wrote. So anyway, it's basically like Lobotomy. It's Dee Dee Ramone, it's a bunch of stuff about Dee Dee, uh, some artwork, some pictures of his. There's a list in the back of, like, uh, excerpts and stuff. Oh, and there's a, a little section on his artwork. I forgot about that. 
That is really cool, because I love seeing all the uh, the stuff that Dee Dee drew. It was a great... Oh, and it's on the back, too. It's a really great peek into the way his mind worked. And right here is Gaba Gaba Hey, the graphic story of the Ramones, which features a lot of, like, uh, kind of rotoscope-style artwork. It's really fascinating. Uh, basically, it's a general overview of the band. Oh, and there's uh, the Simpsons appearance of the Ramones. That's funny. And then right here is the paperback, or, well, the original Lobotomy, I think, was also paperback. This one is a re-release copy that doesn't have the cover with Dee Dee showing off his tattoos. I don't know what, I don't know how to think about that. Anyway, uh, Lobotomy was one of the first Ramones books that I think I read, even before the uh, An American Band book, and it really just cemented my love of uh, Dee Dee's talents and what he contributed to the band, his writing style just spoke to me so much. I really, really loved this book, everything about it. Oh, and there's pictures throughout the book. Really, really cool. Love that. And then right here's another Dee Dee thing, Chelsea Horror Hotel, which is a fictionalized version of events that happened at, when he was staying at a certain hotel. And, uh, let's see, this also features some of his artwork, including this one that I freaking love. I saw a skull instead of my face, which was one of his songs, actually. Awesome. Uh, kind of a grim, a bit depressing book, since, I mean, this sounds like a pretty horrible place to live. <laughs> uh, written around some very disturbing moments of his life. And then we have I Know Better Now by Richie Ramone. This was a really, really cool book. Uh, I'm so happy Richie Ramone had his own book because uh, in all the other books, when they talk about Richie, it feels like we don't get quite the whole story with him because he was with the band for a relatively short time, but he made some really good contributions. Like some of the music that he wrote for the band is some of my favorite Ramone's music. He was an amazing drummer. I really loved his style and just, man, I liked Richie, and it's too bad he couldn't stay with the band longer. I love having this book. We get to hear more of his side, uh, his explanations about what went on with the band while he was in it. Also, this goes into a lot of detail of stuff before and after being in the Ramones. Uh, so that's really cool, really fascinating book. If you're a Ramones fan, if you're a fan of that era with Richie in the band, definitely pick this up. And then next up, this is a weird one. This is a book I didn't even know existed. I happened to find this on eBay once. Uh, I was buying some books, and there was a sale. If I paid, like, five more bucks, I would get free shipping. So I was like, eh, sure. And I looked up Ramones, and I saw, oh, Ramones by Chip Dayton. I don't have... Oh, and there was no cover. So I didn't see this photographs by... It just said Ramones Chip Dayton. I looked at my books, I was like, well, none of these say Chip Dayton, so I took a chance and got it, and it turns out what it is is just uh, a book of photos. N no photos that are particularly amazing or super fascinating, but as a Ramones fan, it's nice to flip through this once in a while and be like, oh, hey, there's Johnny with his Minnie Mouse shirt. I'd love to have one of those, actually. And apparently this is a, uh, a library book. So it's got some uh, very fancy library binding on it. Anyway, there's a couple of pretty cool images. Um, like I said, nothing super fascinating in here. The image quality is really, really good. That picture of Joey on the back is like really high quality. Like some really high quality images which is nice for what's exclusively a photo book. There are no words. There's a little dedication at the beginning. There's, uh, let's see, a little about and acknowledgments in the back. And that's about it. So moving on, here's uh, the Ramones American Punk Rock Band. It's, it's fine. It's a uh, school library book. This came from, uh, what is it? 
Park Ridge Public Library in Illinois. Okay, August 11, withdrawn. Okay. Anyway, yeah, this is basically the type of thing you'd find in a library. It's kind of uh, cleaned up and condensed. Let's see. Uh, in fact, I think this is the book that I read back in high school. Yeah, this is the book I read back in high school about the Ramones. I remember back in high school, I was friends with a librarian, and I was talking to her about uh, things I liked, and one of the things I liked was the Ramones. And then she surprised me and said, oh, hey, one of the libraries has this book, The Ramones, and I got it for you. So that was cool. And uh, I photocopied the, uh, let's see, the discography in the back here and that was a big help early on trying to collect all the Ramones albums because uh like internet was a thing but I didn't have it personally at my house we lived out in the middle of the woods so trying to track down all the different Ramones albums was kind of difficult without like a list to go off of so this was helpful for that uh if you're a big fan this probably isn't the most fascinating read it's pretty basic information and then here's the Ramones, Complete Twisted History. This is basically that an American band book. That's about the best I can say about it. It's a really decent overview of the band, some general information. Goes over, like, I think nearly everything. Um, don't really know what else to say. It's a bit more up-to-date than the An American Band book. The American Band book... I think came out in the 90s. This is uh, well into the 2000s, I believe. I have not read this in forever. There's just not a lot that's like that interesting. I prefer just reading the biographies, but this is a nice thing to sit down and read once in a while if I'm feeling like it. Like put on some Ramones music and it's a nice, like, uh, easy book to read. And then here we got On the Road with the Ramones by Monty Melnick. This is a really cool one. Uh, let's see. Oh, John Holmstrom did the cover. Famous for doing that one uh, punk cover with uh, Joey on it. Uh, let's see. There's a lot of, like, interview excerpts in here. There's a lot of color photos. A lot of rare photos, I think, including that uh, punk cover with John Holmstrom. Uh, let's see. Oop. Strange layout, because it's, like, excerpts, we have, like, uh, sometimes it's, like, three rows of text, like, on this page. It's a bit odd layout, but this was a fun book to read, and like the other one, it's an easy book to read, so it's a nice thing to, like, take off the shelf while I'm relaxing, listen to some music, and just flip through and read, look at the pictures and all that. And then next up, this is a weird one, and... One I don't hear a lot about, Too Tough to Love, My Life with Johnny Ramone by Cynthia, Roxy, Whitney, and Emily XYZ. That was a mouthful. Anyway, uh, this is about this alleged girlfriend of Johnny and her hanging out with the band, and it's... Eh. <laughs> it's not particularly interesting, like... She wasn't one of the Ramones, she wasn't even someone that the others talked about a whole lot, not even Johnny, so, like, there's some interesting stuff about Johnny in here, and this was, like, right, I think I got this right, right after I got the, uh, Commando books, I was super into learning more about Johnny Ramone, I see this up on, I think I got this on Amazon, eh, give or take, I guess, it's, it's what it is. <laughs> and then, uh, let's see. Oh, I want to talk about this first. Archie meets the Ramones. I remember when this was coming out, I pre-ordered this from the comic book store, and I was so excited to get this. I uh, got a bag for it, boarded, and, uh, let's see, it's not sealed, so I can still take it out and read it. Though, I don't really have to, because I have the, uh, graphic novel collection also, but I want to talk some more about this first. I remember looking up, like, the art previews for this before this came out. I think the artist had a website, and she was posting some preview art for this. That was pretty cool. Uh, let's see, the story for this is really weird. Sometime I might have to do, like, a whole video just about this comic. Now, I'm used to reading, like, uh, Archie comics from back in the 70s, 
I don't know why, That's that just happens to be the, like, era of Archie comics I have the most of. I got a bunch from uh, my great uncle. I got a bunch of Archie comics from, like, yard sales and stuff from, like, late 60s, 70s. I got some paperback collections, and those are mostly 70s. So, with Archie meeting the Ramones, I would assume that it would be set in that era, right? Nope, it's set in the present, and Archie's father was super into the Ramones, which is so bizarre to me as a fan of the 70s Archies, where the father is against, like, uh, like rock and roll that was modern at that time. Very strange. And he was, like, into, like, Perry Como or whatever, like, 50s crooner music or something. So that's kind of a weird thing. The Ramones themselves are kind of overlooked in their own comic. It focuses a lot more on the Archie characters, which I get, it's an Archie comic. But the Ramones, one of the problems with them is they don't make much of an impression. They feel very much like they're all the same character. They kind of feel very inspired by the Rock and Roll High School movie. In fact, I'm pretty sure that was a major inspiration for this comic. And, uh, it's fine. It's a cute little comic. It's fine. If you if you have kids or something who are into the Ramones, this is a cute little thing to get them, I guess. So anyway, then at uh, some a discount store, Ollie's, I found the crossover collection, which collects the Archie meets the Ramones, along with some other uh, meat comics like... Um, crap, who else is in here? I know George Takei. I think he's the only one in here that I actually know. Let's see. Archie meets the Ramones, Betty and Veronica meet Lady Gaga, Dilton meets Mark Zuckerberg, Archie meets Michael Strahan, and Kevin Keller meets George Takei. Okay. You know, I'm not a big fan of the artwork in the Archie comics now. I like the artwork in Archie meets the Ramones, though. They got a really good artist who was able to, like, emulate the old, like, the classic style of Archie, but also kind of modernize it, whereas the other ones, they're really obviously just trying to imitate Dan DiCarlo, and it's r really all over the place. Especially looks weird with digital coloring, because I'm so used to the old 70s comics, like, actual comics, not paperback collections of them, so they just have more of a gritty feel to them that's different than looking in there. Anyway, moving on to uh, more stuff, and another comic, Alan Roberts' Killogy. This is something I never hear anybody talk about, and I guess I can understand why. It's kind of obscure, but it's a really fascinating comic. Now, uh, the plot isn't particularly anything amazing. It's decent. It's readable. It's a, uh, like, zombie apocalypse type of story with a couple of characters going out and saving people from zombies. The weird thing with this is that the concept for the comic was, let's take the likeness of actual people and have them act as actors in the comic. Yeah, it was very strange, and they have the credits right here. Frank Vincent, Marky Ramone, and Bria Grant, and there they are. The artwork is pretty good. Really good artwork. Um... Unfortunately, this didn't seem to uh, continue on very far. Let's see, in the back, there's uh, some biography information about the different people involved. That's cool. Oh, and we get this one cool picture of Marky. That is freaking awesome. That, too. Now, the really cool thing, I was super into this when I found it, because it was so cool to find a comic book with Marky Ramone in it. Like, that's just mind-blowing. And when I was looking stuff up about it, I found out that there was actually a cartoon planned that was based off of this. It was going to be from the producers of the Boondocks, and there was animation similar to Boondocks, and I was like, holy crap, this is amazing! And then I found out it never got beyond a pilot. That was so depressing. Because, <laughs> man, that pilot was so cool. I think you can f still find it on YouTube. I guess look up uh, Killogy, and maybe you'll find that uh, that pilot, because, man, it is just freaking brilliant. They brought back uh, these 
people to do like their own voices for the cartoon, or at least I think they did. Now I'm trying to remember. I seem to think they were they replaced somebody, but now I don't remember for sure. But uh, yeah, anyway, it was really cool. I was looking forward to it, and then I found out it got canceled. Damn. Anyway, last up, uh, hmm, not exactly about the Ramones. Punk, the whole story. I got this at a library sale, which is odd because it's not a library book. I bookmarked all the uh, stuff about the Ramones in here because they're not the only focus in here. This goes into a ton of punk bands. There's a ton of bands in here that I had never heard of before. Uh, this was a really, really cool book to go through, and I still don't think I've read the entire thing. I've read all the parts about the Ramones. I read some other stuff I found fascinating. Um, but yeah, it's a really, like, it's an easy book to get into and just bury yourself into if you have the time. So if you're into punk music, this is definitely something to look into. Uh, let's see, it's from Dorling Kinsley, so you know, like, the layout and the... Uh, image quality is going to be really good. So that's all the Ramones books that I have right here. I'm trying to think. I might have a few more here and there. Let's see. I do have right on hand. Here's the Ramones Anthology, which, which comes with its own little uh, book. With photos and interviews and little uh, articles about the Ramones. Um... Hmm. Yeah, I think that's it. That's all I'm going to talk about. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. See ya.